Hello, good evening. My name is Jessica Minnie. I am the Business Education Department Chair. Tonight we're here to honor our students in the high school who value and excel in our business department. The National Business Honor Society is designed to recognize those members of every high school who truly excel in the academic preparation and eventual career in the business world. All of the inductees here tonight are on their way to becoming future business leaders and standouts in whatever career they choose because of their commitment to scholarship, leadership, community service, and character. At this time, our inductees will now process into the auditorium. of our national anthem, preceded by our alma mater, sung by our chamber choir members, led by NBHS officer Aaron Hughes. Thank you. 
Thank you to our amazing musicians who volunteered their night to come join us this evening. Our business department has had the pleasure of teaching you all in at least three of the business courses we offer. We consider ourselves very lucky to have gotten to know you and watch you grow within our department. As business teachers, we love what we teach but nothing is more satisfying than having students love it as well. We find such value in talking about topics with you such as personal finance, business careers, professionalism, and current business trends. You make our job so worthwhile because of your respect, contributions, and your sincere interest in what we discuss on a daily basis. I would now like to introduce NDHS officer Claudia Stuck. Mr. Donaghy has been the principal of our school since 2016. He earned Bachelor of Science in Psychology from the University of Scranton, a Master of Science in Counseling and Human Relations from Villanova University, and a Master of Science in Educational Leadership from St. Joseph's University. Since his time here at Haverford, he has been a part of many important initiatives to improve school morale, communication, and leadership efforts that directly include us students. Mr. Donaghy is smart, kind, reliable, and trustworthy. These qualities were just four of the many positive adjectives we came up with to describe what you mean to us. I would like to now introduce our principal, Mr. Donaghy. Thank you, Claudia. Can I take that home to my wife, the introduction? Uh, I had a speech prepared, but uh, I'm going to tell a little story that happened today, which I think sums up um, the National Business Honor Society and their leadership instead. Um, myself and Ms. Edmonston were at lunch today, and two officers and an inductee came up to me and said, very seriously, uh, can I talk to you? And I said, sure. And they went like this. So I had to move away from Miss Edmiston so she couldn't hear what they were about to say. And I, my heart sank. I didn't know what they were going to tell me. Uh, these three students are leaders in the school. They're well respected by their peers. So it felt like they were going to tell me something very heavy that I may or may not have been able to solve or help them with because they're such good leaders and such good people if they couldn't figure it out on their own, how was I going to help them? So they came up to me, and this is what they said. Mr. Donaghy, there's no toilet paper left in the bathroom. 
two of the officers up here, but I tell that story, uh, it is funny, but the care that they had for the next person who was going in there next, you know, and the care that they had uh, for other individuals and the concern is something that just makes you very proud as a principal. It sounds so simple, but what they did, they didn't have to do. And I don't know if they get this from their teachers or from others in the Honor Society, but I will say that our leaders of our Honor Society represent that. So Ms. McCarty and Ms. Minnie do a wonderful job of not just teaching business principles, but also teaching life lessons throughout their courses. Also, Mr. Bader and Mr. Nancaro round out our business teachers, uh, and they do just such a wonderful job of helping the students each and every day. They're so proud of the students. They know what the students do outside their classroom. They go and see them in their extracurricular activities. So we're very fortunate to have such wonderful teachers uh, at our school. And then I just want to say congratulations to all those who got inducted. Some of you had to wait a whole year to be here tonight, and it's such a pleasure to see everybody coming together and out in the hall talking to each other. I'm very excited about the evening, so congratulations. And then take some time when we're done this evening to take some pictures, okay? So come up here, parents, family members, inductees, stay for a couple minutes, get some pictures. This is what's TikTok worthy, okay? This is what's Insta and every other thing worthy, okay? So come up, post something. You should be very proud of what you've accomplished and congratulations. Good evening, I'm Maeve Cummings, president of MBHS. The role of president has provided me with many leadership opportunities, as well as an opportunity to enhance my resume and network here at Haverford and in the greater community. It is with great pride that I represent the 85 members being inducted this evening. As president, I have the pleasure of working with my peers and meeting business leaders since September. This year, we have focused on working with colleges and business professionals, increasing the communication between our schools and those organizations. So far this year, we have meetings with representatives from the colleges of business at Temple, Drexel, Bucknell, and Fordham. It has been so nice to get to know the major offered at different universities and how those majors led to a variety of different careers. From accounting to supply chain to finance to data analysis, the sky's the limit when you find a program that will give you the skills needed to achieve the lifestyle you desire. We are so excited to be able to contribute to society and will always remember where we got our start here at Harvard. We have had a LinkedIn workshop presented by a local human resource professional at Vanguard and plan to continue these efforts into the new year. Our social media presence is focused on educating and inspiring our members and it has been so much fun building on our Instagram with my fellow officer, Aaron Hughes. My business career started with intro to marketing taught by former business teacher, Mr. Perez. I found live with business and have gone on to take every business class offered. I supplemented those courses by participating in after school internship program for two years, sponsored by Junior Achievement Organization. I learned so much by working with professionals at Aqua America to see how all of the departments work to produce a common mission and an experience I will never forget. I want to thank Ms. McCarty and Ms. Minnie for inspiring me and believing in me. Your insight encouraged me to participate in and explore business programs and courses. Leadership is defined as an individual or as a group of individuals that influence and guide. Ms. McCarty and Ms. Minnie, I thank you for your leadership. I also want to thank my mom and dad for all their love and support, and my older brothers, Shane and Jake, who have always led by example. As my journey continues, I plan to put my high school career courses into good use as I work towards obtaining a degree in marketing. In closing, 
As Maya Angelou once said, if you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Now I would like to introduce Vice President Tommy Percy. Good evening, my name is Tommy Perthes and I'm the Vice President of MBHS. I wanted to become an officer because I wanted to be more involved in the school as well as continue my passion for business. The business courses I've taken so far are Introduction to Marketing, Personal Finance, Entrepreneurship, Accounting, and Advanced Marketing. My favorite has been Advanced Marketing because of all the projects that we do that challenge us to be creative. I think MBHS is a very special and unique organization at Haverford because it's made up of high achieving students we all have a common interest in business. I know that the knowledge and lessons I learned from MBHS will help me succeed in the future. Some colleges I've applied to are Penn State, Bucknell, and Fordham University, but my dream school is the University of Virginia because of its unique history and excellent business program. In college, I would like to pursue a business degree as either a marketing or finance major. One business leader I admire is Todd Giosa, who is the owner of Colonial Market because of his exceptional management skills and industrious work ethic. I would like to thank both my parents for always being there to support me and for motivating me to work hard in school. I would now like to introduce Leadership Team Officer Dylan Jarrell. Good evening, my name is Dylan Jarrell. I'm an officer of the MBHS Leadership Team. I wanted to be an officer because I want I am interested in pursuing a career in business. The business courses that I have taken at Haverford so far are business law, web communications and design, both advanced and intro to marketing, entrepreneurship, personal finance, and accounting one and two. If I had to choose one as my favorite, I would have to say marketing because of all the projects and I'm interested in pursuing a career in marketing. NBHS is important to me because it has helped me have a better understanding of what I want to do beyond high school. Colleges that I have applied to are Drexel University, University of Pittsburgh, Penn State, Shippensburg, Westchester, and the University of Delaware. I would like to major in marketing because it is a growing industry and has a number of possible career paths for me to choose. Two people I'd like to thank for shaping who I am today are my parents because they both have shown me the importance of hard work and dedica dedication. Of the four cornerstones of NBHS, character is important to me because it determines how well you can work with others and achieve your personal goals, which allows you to become more successful in the business world. I would now like to introduce NBHS officer Claudia Stelf. Good evening, my name is Claudia Stuck and I'm one of the service officers for the National Business Honor Society. I became an MBHS officer because it's a great opportunity to expand my leadership skills and learn more about business. To me, National Business Honor Society means opportunity and opportunities and the expansion of my knowledge. One of the four cornerstones of NBHS is service. This year, one of our service projects is that we are sponsoring a child from St. Christopher's Hospital for Children. As a part of their Secret Santa program, we will be buying Christmas gifts for one of their oncology patients. We, also, we have also held a winter coat drive for the past two months. It is so unbelievable how generous the students and families in our community have been. It is with pleasure that we will be delivering the over 100 winter coats donated to a local charity, One Warm Coat, in Ardmore next week. We believe that by volunteering our time, money, and energy to help others, it doesn't just make the world better, it also makes us better. Today is actually Giving Tuesday. This state represents a global generosity movement that unleashes the power of radical generosity around the world. Giving Tuesday was created in 2012 as a simple idea, a day that encourages people to do good. Sincerity and generosity invites people in to give what they can to create systemic change. As one of our cornerstones, we all vow to continue to live with this same value system. Throughout the past four years, I've taken three business courses, including business law, personal finance, and introduction to marketing. My favorite business course was introduction to marketing. It was a project-based course, which allowed me to learn marketing in a hands-on way. MBHS has given me the opportunities to virtually visit college, attend LinkedIn workshops, and much more. These opportunities have helped me prepare for my future, 
In college, I plan on majoring in early childhood education and becoming an elementary school teacher. I would like to thank my mom, dad, and brother Adam for shaping me to be the person I am today. I would not be here today without all of their love and support. Please welcome our next speaker, Officer Patrick Collins. Good evening. My name is Patrick Collins and I'm a scholarship officer in MBHS. I decided last year to become an officer because the classes that I enjoyed the most were my business classes. I've taken intro to marketing, accounting one, accounting two, business law, entrepreneurship, computer applications, and I'm taking personal finance and advanced marketing later in the year. Already being a member of MBHS, I thought being an officer would be a great opportunity to gain a leadership position. Through MBHS, I was able to get into business school and learn more about the business world for my postgraduate endeavors. It has made me a more well-rounded person as I was able to hone in on something that could better my future. Next year, I will be attending her science college to pursue my applied economics degree and to play baseball. NBHS has helped me realize what I need in a school's business program in order to be successful in the real world. I think people like Mark Cuban or Brian Cashman are extremely great mentors as they have been able to make millions of dollars working in the sports business which is ultimately something I hope to pursue down the road. Finally, I want to thank my parents for everything they've done to help me to help get me to this point, and I would like to introduce fellow officer Aaron Hughes. Good evening. My name is Aaron Hughes, and I am the social media officer of MBHS. I chose to run for this position because I felt that I could gain valuable team collaboration experience by working with this group of strong business leaders. At Haverford, I have completed multiple business courses, but I am most appreciative of advanced marketing because the class's project-based curriculum helped me to discover my enthusiasm for designing promotional campaigns. By taking these courses, I was eligible to apply to MBHS and was elated to learn I had been accepted. Being in MBHS has connected me with college counselors, provided me with networking opportunities, and introduced me to a statewide week-long overnight business program I attended this past summer. Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week 2021 was held at Lycoming College in Williamsport. I was elected chief marketing officer of my company and along with 16 other teenagers created a shoe designed for healthcare workers and branded them heart and soul shoes. My company ended up winning the entire competition. I was able to meet teenagers from all over, the, all over Pennsylvania, as well as multiple business leaders and mentors. I consider the relationships I made to be lifelong. This was an incredible experience that I would absolutely recommend to other students. Be on the lookout for an application to this program from Ms. McCarty in the next couple of weeks. In the future, I plan to take all of the skills I've acquired during my time at Haverford and apply them to major in marketing and business administration in college. I would like to take a moment to thank my parents for encouraging me throughout my time at Haverford to get the most out of these four years, as well as share how grateful I am for their continuous support. As Larry Page once said, always deliver more than expected. I am thankful that MBHS has given me opportunities to further my success in the business world, as well as my prospective career. I would now like to introduce one of our scholarship officers, TJ Dunaghy. Good evening. My name is TJ Donaghy, and I am an officer of the National Business Honor Society here at Hadford in the scholarship committee. I wanted to be an MBH officer because I believe that business is important in every aspect of society, and I wanted to be able to learn more about it. Here at Hadford, I had the opportunity to take seven business classes, accounting one, accounting two, personal finance, business law, entrepreneurship, intro to marketing, and advanced marketing. Honors Accounting was my favorite class because it allowed me to view the business field through a different perspective. One that has inspired me to know the value of relationships and data. It was in this class where I found the value of LinkedIn and how networking with professionals is a major avenue to success. MBHS is very important to me as it allows me opportunities to further my education in the field of business. And it and it helps me become a more fiscally responsible person. For my future, I plan to attend Misericordia University and study accounting. 
I will be there as a student and an athlete continuing my lacrosse career. A business leader of mine that I admire is my brother, Jack. He was a guest speaker in my class last year, and this was a moment of great pride for me as I saw him in a different light. He was not just my brother, he was a leader who successfully completed his undergrad degree, went on to pursue his master's degree in accounting, and this education has led in a big four accounting where he is a decision maker and making impact for all of his clients. I would like to thank both my parents for shaping me to be the person I am today, whether it has been through coaching or simply being good role models. They have taught me the importance of being able to work with others and determination. Up next, I would like to introduce Service Officer Jamie Woodman. Good evening. My name is Jamie Woodman, and I am a service officer for the National Business Honor Society. I wanted to become an officer because it offered a real opportunity to grow as a leader and work with others to strengthen the program in addition to helping others. One of the projects that I've been able to work on as a service officer has been the One Warm Coat Drive, in which MBHS gathered coat donations for those in need in our community this fall as winter approached. What started my interest in business was taking personal finance, intro to marketing, and advanced marketing as an underclassman. I enjoyed advanced marketing the most because of its unique approach of being a project-based class. It was through this class in MBHS that I learned the importance of connections and working with others, specifically how important it is to respect one another's opinions, input, and be able to communicate to solve a problem. Therefore, as I enter into college, I intend to be a math major with a business minor so that I may build off my foundation of business knowledge learned in high school and bring it with me into the real world. Mathematicians build careers on their ability to look at complex data sets and problems, make sense of them, and order them logically towards potential solutions. I look forward to applying all I learned at Haverford in college and eventually in a meaningful career. Lastly, I would like to thank my parents for their support and encouragement for getting me to where I am today. With that being said, I would like to introduce Will Shapiro. Good evening. My name is Will Shapiro, and I am one of the National Business Honor Society Scholarship Officers. I decided to become an officer because I thought it would further my understanding of, business, of the business world and prepare me better for different business classes in college. I have been fortunate to learn from many of the business teachers that have worked here over the past four years, in which they taught me the fundamentals of business, including accounting, marketing, and entrepreneurship. The important course I took was personal finance which I plan to use those skills that I learned to help me be more financially secure in the future. Some of the colleges I'm applying to include Penn State, Muhlenberg, and University of Pittsburgh, in which I plan to apply to each college respective business school. As I currently unsure which specific field of business I want to pursue, I look forward to taking a deeper dive into fields I am interested in and declaring my major. Tonight, I would like to thank my mom, dad, and brother for all I have done to help shape me into the person I am today. I would now like to introduce fellow officer Aaron McGinnis. Hi, everyone. My name is Aaron McGinnis. I'm an MBHS officer of the leadership team. I wanted to be an officer because my brother Andrew was vice president last year. He is now an accounting major at Temple's Fox School of Business, and I saw how many opportunities it gave him to use in his future. Some Haverford business courses that I've taken were entrepreneurship, accounting one and two, business law, introduction to marketing as well as advanced marketing. However, my favorite was business law. I loved the legal side of business relations and learning how new laws and regulations were made because of these events I learned about. In the future, I know MBHS will help me because it's given me skills such as time management, respect, and of course, leadership. In college, I hope to major in sports marketing and obtain a career in the field. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Ms. McCarty, who I would not be here without, who has helped me every step of the way on my college process. I also want to, of course, thank my mom and dad, who gave me so many tools throughout my life that I utilize to set myself up to be chosen as an officer for National Business Honor Society. Now, let me introduce you to our next speaker, Alex Comas. Alex is a junior member whose application essay was selected based on the sincere story he told about how the cornerstones of the Honor Society have helped shape him into the strong student leader that he is. Please welcome my friend and classmate, Alex.
<clears throat> National Business Honor Society is rooted in the four cornerstones of success, which are scholarship, character, leadership, and service. Each of these four cornerstones have played a role in my life in shaping who I am today. The first term, scholarship, or in other words, academic excellence, plays a role in success because I believe your grades reflect how hard of a worker you are in school, and they show your future employer, employers and colleges just how motivated you really are. Ever since the sixth grade, when number grades turned to letters, I found an obsession with always being able to reach that A+. To me, it was the golden standard. With my motivation and dedication, the goal that I set for myself at a young age to achieve honor as many times as I could is still being pursued by me to this day, and I can proudly say that in the past five years, that streak has not been broken. I'm very driven and determined I want to achieve something. No hesitation, no excuses. Another one of the cornerstones of MBHS is character, or in other words, ethics. Ethics is a way of life for me as I've been working for the past three years. Every person you meet in life, you want to make sure that you're on your best behavior and are making a positive impression because you do not know what this person could do for you. This person could bring you connections, open doors, and even mentor you. My work ethic is reflected in everything I do. This is presented in not just my life, but the lives of others too, due to the fact that if one wants something, they are driven and motivated to get such results. In other words, your work ethic reflects what you have, and the harder you work, the more you will have, and vice versa. The following pillar of the MBHS community is leadership, which in my opinion is the most important one. I'm the type of person who is a natural born leader and can take charge. I want my reputation to be that I'm always the hardest worker in the room. In business, you have to be able to demonstrate leadership in every conversation you have and situation you face. Growing up, I was put in situations where I had to meet new people and make friends often. This helped me shape into being very outgoing as well as being an excellent listener. Growing up, I moved around, and as I kept moving from place to place, I always got to see the story that goes on in other places. When I moved here, I came with a lot of stories, and I've been able to take each lesson from each of these stories and apply them to my life in a positive way. The final cornerstone of MBHS is service. Service has, de has developed my strength to become a future business leader because I feel that with service comes setting examples and expectations for the future generations and also for the people who surround you. If you're not willing to set time aside to help the less fortunate or even just take the time to publicize and spread the word in order to bring, pe to bring help to people who need it, that is very saddening to me. A tremendous aspect of life is giving back to the community where you came from, and not just because of empathy, but because you want to give other people the blessings that you were able to receive. In closing, although short, a favorite quote of mine com coming from a business tycoon, Larry Page, is always deliver more than expected. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Now I'd like to introduce tonight's keynote speaker, Mr. Tom Thornton. He is a managing partner at JDM Restaurant Group, which is comprised of the beloved brands, J.D. McGillicuddy's, Sam's Boardwalk Pizza, and Sam's Brick Oven Pizza. He is, he's been married to his wife, Beth, for 23 years and has three children who have all gone through the Haverford School District. Jack, class of 2018, Julia, class of 2019, and Sam, class of 2023. Mr. Thornton was in the class of 1987 at Friends Central and went on to attend Villanova. He is the oldest of seven children, Tom and Arlene Thornton. Outside of work, he enjoys coaching baseball and basketball, playing golf and music. I've had the honor of knowing Mr. Thornton for a while now, through the community and through now the president of the Lacrosse Boosters. Please welcome Mr. Thornton. Thank you, TJ. Um, I want to say thank you to uh, the National Business Honor Society for having me this evening. I also want to send a special thank you out to the parents, uh, Principal Donaghy, uh, distinguished members of the administration, and a very special thank you to uh, Mr. Bader, Mr. Nankaro, Mrs. Minnie, and Mrs. McCarty for allowing me to speak this evening. I'm very uh, honored, humbled, and happy to be here this evening. Um, as TJ alluded to, I was born and raised here in Havertown, the oldest of seven children. Um, went to school right here in Havertown. Uh, went to college right here, very close to Villanova University. Uh, married my wife who went to Haverford High School and, and we live here in Havertown and we raise our kids here. Um, the community here is second to none. Um, why am I here? Pivot or perish? Well, my family owns and operates five restaurants right here in the township 
uh, J.D. McGillicuddy's and, and the Sam's brand that you're all aware of. And as well as a catering operation that we provide catering for various events throughout the neighborhood. And we also provide lunches for 12 different local parochial schools in the Delaware Valley. Our business model has always been heavy on family and community. That's always evident in the way we sponsor community teams, events, and causes. I always wanted this to be the cornerstone of who we are as a business, to really ingratiate ourselves into the community and do what's best for the community. Among the hardest hit industries over the course of the pandemic, of course, was the restaurant industry. So that's why I'm here, pivot or perish. That was the theme for this evening, and that's why they wanted me to speak. So the odds against most restaurants from the start, studies show that over 60% of newly opened restaurants fail within the first year, and that 80% fail within the first five years. So now you throw that into the mix with the pandemic, and you have a recipe for disaster. During the pandemic, over 100,000 restaurants in the United States were closed down. So again, why am I here? March 2020, specifically March 15th, I woke up after working the night before, and I got on a conference call with five of my brothers who are also my partners in the restaurant industry. And we made probably one of the toughest decisions we had to make um, in deciding to be responsible and close down our day-to-day -day operations as a restaurant. Uh, that week was the week of St. Patrick's Day, and as many of you are aware, also March Madness follows right after. And, and that is probably, business-wise, our biggest week of the year. Uh, you throw in Thanksgiving, Christmas holidays, St. Patrick's Day, March Madness, that, those three are like the three big ones. Um, but we made the decision that it was the right thing to do. And we were the first restaurant in town uh, to make that decision. And it was funny to see, I was actually proud to see a lot of the other restaurants kind of follow suit and took maybe a couple of them a few hours or maybe even just a day to decide that that was the right thing to do, but that's what we did. You know, the irony of, of that week was that each place was outfitted with extra supplies for that Tuesday, which was March 17th and St. Patty's Day, which is a big holiday for us. Um, the fact that we were gonna miss one of the biggest restaurant bar holidays was scary, um, to say the least. It was very scary. Not to mention the thousands of extra dollars that we had you know, put aside and spent in order to prepare ourselves for a big week. So that Sunday, we met, my brothers and I, and uh, we discussed our options, and Parrish was not one of them. So we made quick work of our website and social media presence and began putting together a plan. Family meal packages was the first one that we decided to do. We put together meal packages in hopes that people would still come and get food to go. That was the only thing we really had going for us at that point. We put together some family-style pasta meals, sliders, chicken marsala, shrimp scampi, you name it. If you wanted us to cook it, we'd cook it for you and we'd have it ready for you to pick up or we'd deliver it for you. So we spent the next couple weeks, you know, kind of paying attention to the news, trying to figure out what the next step was. And uh, one of my brothers had dropped off um, a bunch of slushies to, to my house. Uh, the one afternoon I was off, and he was talking about this place down in Drexel Hill that had these slushies. And so the next thing you know, um, we invest in one of those slushy machines. It came the following weekend, and I think I spent an entire day making slushies, nothing but slushies from like 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. And, and that was the invention of our slushy game, which I know a few parents out there that I've seen tonight took part in the slushy game, and thank you for that. People were antsy to get out, and, and people, you know, they wanted to get out and entertain themselves, and if it meant walking up to McGillicuddy's and grabbing a slushy for the walk home, then, then that's, that's what made them happy. Um, but we really had to make a decision to make everything that was once at our 
eat-in restaurant, we had to now make that a to-go option. So in addition to the family-style meals, people kept coming back and, and getting sandwiches or wings or, or cheesesteaks or anything to go. Um, all the beer and wine that had been earmarked for a big week of St. Patty's celebration was now fair game in the mini packaged goods store that I had set up in the dining room of the restaurant. Um, I look back on those times and it, it's kind of funny looking back on it now, but it's not something that I ever want to revisit again. Um, we had the fortunate, uh, we were very fortunate to have interviews with Action News and Good Day Philadelphia to let people know what we, do, what we were doing as a business to pivot and not perish. Um, and, and we got a lot of really positive feedback from that. Again, the social media was huge. Um, but the community, more so than anything else, was so supportive. And I can honestly say that is the real reason why I'm here today. Um, and, and the real reason why we didn't perish with the 100,000 other restaurants, which my heart goes out to them. I look at places in the city of Philadelphia so close to home that just didn't make it through the pandemic. And it's really heartbreaking because I know the time and effort that people put into doing their best for the community. And, and, and a lot of times in the city, people weren't able to go out and, and support those restaurants because of the total lockdown there. We were very fortunate here in Hereford Township. I went to Connor Quinn, our uh, commissioner, and I, I brought him pictures of a restaurant uh, in Maniunk that had done outdoor dining previous to the pandemic, but they still had everything set up. And I took pictures and I brought it to him and I said, is there any way we can do something like this outside? And he turned around and went to the township manager, Mr. Berman, and they were able to turn around and I don't know if everybody remembers the barriers on Brookline Boulevard. And then you saw them pop up in different areas for other restaurants. Um, but the township was so supportive and again, I don't think that we would have made it without the community or the township leaders um, being there for us in a time of need. Um, it was really great to see the people reciprocate and give back. So for every time that, you know, I wrote a check for somebody for a little league or, or for the plays here at Haverford, you know, I feel like people remembered that. And, you know, that goes back to what I always wanted to be. Um, I always wanted that to be the cornerstone of my business, you know, being there for the community because you never know when the community is going to come back and help you. And, you know, during the pandemic, that was one time where the community, I really have to say thank you. Um, the other thing that I'm extremely proud of during the pandemic was that not one of our full-time employees was let go or put on unemployment, not one. And one day, when I sit down and tell my grandchildren about the pandemic of 2020 and hopefully not 2021, or only 21 rather, um, I will be proudest of that fact. Um, you know, we really, we worked hard as a team and the people that worked for me, you know, worked alongside with me, uh, really did a great job and we were able um, to survive. I will also be very happy to tell my grandchildren someday that I was fortunate enough to pivot, perish, and share this great story about this wonderful community with you all. I thank you all for having me this evening, and I want to give a, a special thank you to all the students here in uh, the National Business Honor Society, and I want to congratulate you and wish you well in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thornton. Uh, we will now begin our induction ceremony. First, I would like to recognize my fellow officers. You have demonstrated the four cornerstones of scholarship, character, service, and leadership. We are so proud to have you all as student leaders and as a symbol of age pride, and I'm proud to call you all my friends. We now want to recognize the juniors and se senior students who will be inducted in the National Business Honor Society this evening. We ask that as a group, 
you all continue to grow professionally by encouraging an interest in business. Grow socially by respecting people and demonstrating excellent communication skills. And grow personally by seeking ways to improve your happiness. Please bring your program with you. We ask that the audience holds applause until our last student is called. Samuel Applebaum, Patrick Brown, Campbell Carlin, Quinn Carson, Thomas Caruso, Tammy Chan, Sam Chester, Peter Corcoran, Jacqueline Cuso. Matthew Daly, Eddie Davis, Kaylin Disler, Aiden Dowling, Jack Ebert, Mohammed Fadul, Ethan Fingerhut, Nicholas Ford, Ethan Freeze. Ethan Gold, Maria Graham, Leah Hayes, Aaron Hughes, Aiden Johnson, Elena Kalpatrick, Akia Cobb, Basu, Jacob Law, Maggie Waller, Aaron McGinnis, Amy McGarity, Jack McGarvey, Patrick McGinnis, Jack McGoldrick, Michael McNicholas, Joshua Mincer, Mia Moore, Andrew Murray, Emma Myers, Han No, Wambui Majanjo, Thomas Perthes, Mara Quayle, Eric Rosenwitz, Colin Reynolds, Taylor Ryan, Justin Salveson, Belen Tronsoletti, Rob Bulbrecht, Victoria Yu. Nicholas Ardizzi, Declan Berry, Anthony Campisi, Alexander Comas, Finnegan Cron, Ashlyn Dicker, Nicholas Emery, Connor Frank, Henry Gillespie, Jason Hahn, Kyle Heston, Michaela Kent, Brennan Cramp, Kern Cranick, Matthew Wyburn, Devlin McGovern, Joseph Messina, Tierna Moore. Tiernan O'Neill, James Patano, Zoe Peterson, Ariana Rusava, Jack Schreiner, Alexander Seidman, Colin Shoemaker, Jake Snell, Liam Speicher, Dylan Welsh, and Garrett Wablowski. We present and accept these initiates who desire to become members of the National Business Honor Society. They have met the requirements of membership as established in our bylaws. Do you understand and will you support this purpose? 
Please answer, I do. At this time, we will be reciting the Honor Society Pledge together, as written in the program. I believe in the purposes of National Business Honor Society and the ideals of excellence in business for which it stands. I realize that my responsibilities as a member require me to cooperate to the fullest extent with the goals of the chapter. I will seek to grow in personality, professionalism, and character through my associations with other members. I do promise to uphold the aims and responsibilities of the National Business Honor Society as an active member. It is with great pleasure that I declare you members of the National Business Honor Society. Congratulations. Thank you to everyone in the audience, family, friends, teachers, and principals for all of your support to us members. Let us always remember that life is about being lifelong learners who value building relationships based on respecting one another and hard work. At this time, we will take a group photo. All officers, please go to the front of the group. Thank you all for a wonderful evening. Please join us in the front of the auditorium for a fresh.